Okay, here we have this uh, Supnova smart battery monitor, and uh, we are going to be the first, I guess, detailed video of all the menus on this device. Here I have a pair with my eco-worthy battery, and right here we have all the specs for this type of battery. Uh, these are pretty good. I have five of these batteries. Four I have connected to my trolling motor, and they work great. I uh, haven't run into any issues on the water, and I never run out of battery. Here's an overview of my setup with the device. Mine has a little bit of a silicone on the back since I keep this out in the open on my kayak on the outside panel. Uh, there's no reset button anywhere or any way to factor reset this. Two buttons here, mode and power. So if you hold power, it will put it on. If you hit mode once and let go, it will display the battery temperature in Celsius. If you hit again, it will bring you back to the voltage. Uh, you hit the mode. Hold it for two seconds. It will bring you to menu one. If you press once, it will make you go through the seven menus here on this device. Go back to one. One, it is the type of battery you have. So we are in menu one. Press the power to set one. So you get into the menu one. And then I have I have it set to F for LiPo, but you have press B, I mean M, you press the mode and it will cycle you through the three different types of batteries that this device supports. P is for regular lead acid batteries, L for lithium, and F for the LiPo batteries. Press set for the type of battery and then I have a set of four but if you press mode it will bring you up on the type of uh, cells I believe that the battery has but mine is only four so three four hit the power to set it and then hit mode to save once again press and hold now we're gonna go to menu two hit the power to set so this one is for the display to be on or off so I have set mine for 30 seconds on after that after the 30 seconds it will go off we we'll shut off the screen so you have 60 120 10 and 30 again so I like to keep mine at 30 click set and then you have on or off all right, so if you leave it at off, it will not go off until you press a power button on or off. But I like to keep mine at 30 and on, so we'll go off after 30 seconds. Hold mode to save. You go to, go to menu three. Power to set so this is good to go back to your battery uh, specifications so mine minimum minimum voltage is 10 max 20 so if you press the motor will depending on the, your battery specifications you can cycle up or uh, just up so I'm just gonna leave mine at 10 click set then you can change here up again on the number same thing here same thing here so mine is set to 10 and 20 so i'm just gonna press and hold to save this now we are gonna go to menu four and this is your minimum voltage alarm so if the battery is running low at this 
uh, percentage, you can have this unit uh, tell you by beeping. So I have mine set to 10, the minimum to start beeping, and I have it set off. So I don't, I don't want to hear the beeping noise. So you have 10 and then you can cycle through on and off. So I keep mine off and then just click hold save. Let's go to menu five. So this one, I'm not sure what it does. Uh, I just know that if I hit once, it will give me 12 volts in an error. So I'm just going to click and save. I don't know how to get out of it. But I go back to menu 5 again. And I just keep it at 30 and hold to save. All right, let's hold and go to menu 6. Right now, I keep that on. Uh, basically, the, what that is is on the main menu. If you hit M, it will give you. It will cycle through your voltage and the battery temperature. So I like to keep mine on, so I can keep an eye on the temperature of my batteries. So I'm just gonna keep it on. Press and hold M to save it, and then press and hold, and we cycle to menu seven, which is the last menu. Hit power to set, get into that menu. And this is the max charge. So also this will give you a beeping alarm when it hits the maximum charge or voltage to be charged. So I like to keep mine uh, based on the specifications that I have on the battery. So I keep that uh, uh, 20. And you can cycle for on and off for the actual uh, sound notification. I like to keep mine on off, so I keep it at off. Press and hold to save. And basically, that's that's all there is to this uh, Supnova battery meter. Thanks for watching.